Spending $10 in Dublin. Dublin is the capital and largest city of Ireland with over 1.5 million residents. It was founded by Vikings who settled in what they called the Norse Kingdom of Dublin in the 9th century. How much do you think I can buy for $10 here? A beer and a half. Beer and a half? That's it in Dublin. Around 49% of Dublin's population is under the age of 30, making Dublin one of the youngest capital cities in Europe. I've been to Dublin two times before and my best advice here before Covid was dress warmly and party hard. With the coronavirus thing in mind, there's no Dublin party for me this time, but this is what you can get by spending $10 in Dublin. I started off with taking the local bus 16 from the airport to the city center. A lot cheaper than the tourist bus. 3.30 euros and a fun way to see Dublin up top from a double decker bus. In this country it has the longest red light. It has the it's longest red, red light in the Ireland. The longest red light in Ireland. Wow. And it was green like this. <laughs> <laughs> Just need to complain. Always complain. <laughs> Dublin has a big Brazilian community and is a very multicultural city. Hey, no. See, no. That's crazy. Five hours later. Brazilians <laughs> playing volleyball, Indians playing cricket, you name it, Dublin has it all. I went straight in to buy two bananas from a friendly guy from Sri Lanka. 43 cents. Two bananas, it's always good for the stomach. I've always loved the Native American tribes, so when I found out I could go to Apache to get some chips there, there was no way back. 2.50 euros. And great witnessing an Irish Conor McGregor move on the inside. I don't have any local friends with me, so I'm certainly paying overpriced. It's impossible to leave Ireland without trying some local stuff. The soul of Ireland's most iconic beer, Guinness. World famous for their Guinness. 2.55 euros in the supermarket. An international taste study found that Guinness does in fact taste better in its homeland of Ireland, and I agree. Yeah. Even when keeping distance to everybody. The bars are pretty quiet at the moment. This is what you can get by spending $10 in Dublin, Ireland. A lovely country with lovely people all around, and also a very expensive city to be fair. Have you been to Dublin? Did you like it? Such a nice country with such friendly people. I really like Ireland so much. Remember to subscribe to Gus on the Go. 150 countries and more to come.